Okay, we'd now like to show you how to do uh, edge wrapping around a piece of MDF. Okay, so that actually the image will follow itself all the way around the edge and around the back. Um, so what we've done here, we've actually taken a paper print, uh, it could be a photograph, an inkjet print, uh, we've heat sealed it so that we put a, um, a, a satin matte heat seal film or a, a matte X heat seal film on the top. Um, so that's already pre-done. And also what we've done is we've taken a piece of the dry mount film and coated it onto the back and again processed it through the vacuum press uh, so that the adhesive is on the back of the, uh, on the, back of the print. We've done this using a carrier board so it's easier to get the print in and out and work with. Okay, so what we need to do now is to fold back a good section of the release liner because we've got quite a lot of overhang of print here. So we're going to come back probably two thirds of the way down. Okay, put a crease in the silicon release paper. We can then take our board, tack cloth, again, give it a good wipe down on the edges as well. Okay, all the way across the surface. And again, you'll notice that there's quite a lot of dust residue that comes off. So that's our face surface. We can turn that back over. We can line this up then so that it's level all the way around. There's about a two inch border all the way around the print. Okay. What we need to do is we need to pop this back into the press for a couple of minutes. So we're actually going to bond the surface of the print onto the MDF. So we'll just lift it up transport it over to the base of the press. You'll notice it's going in face down. Because we've heat sealed the print, we need to keep that in contact with the, with the foam. Um, and we're going to put the silicon release film over the back of the print so the exposed adhesive is not going to stick to the lid of the press. So we can close that down, switch that on, and we'll process that for about two or three minutes. Okay, so now that we've mounted it down onto the, uh, the MDF, we've taken it out of the press, you can see some of the, the edges are puckled up. So what we need to do is to seal it onto the one edge first. Okay, so we're going to just push down onto the bottom, fold it back on itself. Okay, so working on the shortest edges, we're going to do the same. Again, going down the bottom here. Okay, so that we're basically wrapping it around the back of the board. Okay. Now then we need to fold in the corners. So we'll just fold this back, pull it out on itself. This then gets pinched into the corner. Okay. That gets folded up, folded over, and brought over. And we can do the same with this bottom edge as well. Again, just fold this in. Push this in. Okay. Pinch those, pinch those two together. That can get folded over. So that we can actually fold over onto this side of the board. Okay. Again, there's quite a lot of residual heat left in the board, so it's going to still keep the actual dry mount film bonding onto the surface. We can spin it around. Again, do the same. So you're pushing in at the corner. Pinch. Push in, pinch. And that can be folded over. Okay, and again, same at the bottom edge. Flatten it down. Fold it in, push it in at the corner. Okay, pinch that together. And again, that can be folded back over on itself. Again, the residual heat within the board is going to help it stick down to the back of the, of the, the MDF. Best thing here is to pop it back in the press just to allow it and bond it all the way back around just for a couple of minutes. Again, the same way that we stuck it down originally. It's going to go in face up, uh, sorry, face down into the press on top of the foam, silicon release on the top, and we're just going to process that for a further couple of minutes. 
Okay, so now that uh, we've pressed it again, uh, just for a few minutes, we've taken it out of the press, and you can see that it's all nicely wrapped around the edge, wrapped around the back, and that's ready now to be hung on the wall.